Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Kitos Jesus. This is a word of prophecy for the body of Christ, specifically in the nation of Finland. In the last days, the Lord says, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, and your sons and your daughters will prophesy, and your old men will see dreams, young men will see visions. Amen. I'm getting older. Hallelujah. So, um, in our ministry, um, the Holy Spirit has revealed two witnesses of, of a truth that needs to be spoken, and you need to pray about this. Those of you who have a calling to the nation of Finland, those of you who have a burden for Scandinavia in general. Um, the first dream came to a brother who was recently baptized, born again out of Catholicism. And he uh, shared this dream, and as he shared the dream, the Holy Spirit really strongly spoke to me that this pertains to the nation of Finland, in addition to other churches. And this dream is about a new covering, a new roof. In the dream, our friend saw a, a huge barn with a new roof. There was a helicopter overhead, some kind of aircraft, and then there was someone wearing a costume. And we submitted this dream to the Lord and to some friends who are prophetically gifted. And the Holy Spirit showed us there is a wolf in sheep's clothing. This costume is a church hypocrite. It's someone that is probably not even saved and is um, bound for the outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Has has compromised an apostate. It's a It's a... Cloud without water, a tree that's plucked up by the roots with no fruit. We're warned of these kinds of people in the book of Jude, in the book of the books of uh, the Apostle Peter, and the Holy Spirit. You need to pray about this, listener, and warn others and spread this word, so that the the precious sheep in the nation of Finland don't perish. Paul said, after I leave, savage wolves will come. They won't spare the flock. Jesus said, the good shepherd gives of his life for the sheep. But a hireling, when the wolf comes, will flee. So thank the Lord for these wolves because they're going to expose who the true and the worthless shepherds are in our churches. Praise God. Praise the Lord. May we prove ourselves as men who truly shepherd the flock over whom the Holy Spirit has made us overseer. Okay? Now, that dream came, I'm not sure exactly when, but very recently. Now, last night the Lord gave me a dream. He gave me the second witness of this same truth. And this is edification and comfort, and, and it's to exhort you, listeners. This is not to condemn you, shame you. This is to prepare you, okay? And um, so do not receive this word as condemnation or, or shame on you. Absolutely not. This is to build you. This is to comfort you. Lord, and we ask you to let it run swiftly and let it pierce the, the soul and spirit, dividing soul from spirit as your word does. Amen? So in this dream, I, there was a deep sense of holiness. I was with a, a youth, a young Finnish man, in a car, who we believe was the picture of, of Jesus in the in the dream. He said, with perfect peace, I didn't know that when I warned him about a wolf in sheep's clothing. Now, how you would be saying, Michael, how could you dare say that Jesus didn't know who a wolf in sheep's clothing was? Remember, Jesus himself did not have all knowledge when he was, was growing up. He had to grow in wisdom. He had to grow in stature and in favor with God and man. And he himself even said, no one knows the day, not even the Son, only the Father. Jesus did not have all knowledge when he was on the earth. So I warned him of this wolf in sheep's clothing who was causing problems in the church. And then suddenly we were on some kind of a church campground. And there was a huge church. There was a very deep sense of holiness in these churches. And I know that a lot of these holiness churches that may have drifted into legalism or gotten off the narrow path in that 
uh, extreme, that there's a root of holiness there that we need to make sure we don't neglect, and that when we're digging up, you know, and pulling out bad roots and, and tearing down religious spirits and religious pride and, you know, that we don't throw out the baby with the bathwater because there's all kinds of deep roots of holiness in many denominations, even though those denominations have have drifted from the Lord, either on one extreme or the other, legalism or lawlessness. So we were at this campground, and I was not sure if it was a spiritually safe place, so I was kind of walking very cautiously around. And then I looked to the front, and there was a woman at the altar on her knees, wailing and weeping. She was wailing and weeping. And we believe the Holy Spirit says that revival and the fear of the Lord is coming to Finland, and He's going to use a big church. There will be a lot of unity. But this, this revival will not be birthed without weeping. There has to be brokenness, repentance, and humility, especially for mixing in with worldly systems and worldly governments, because we all know what's coming in the book of Revelation. It's the mark of the beast. It's the Antichrist system where siding with the Lord will mean affliction, persecution. Remember our brothers in, in nations that Islam is the, is the predominating uh, force. Their lives are constantly in danger. But be ready, because a great revival is coming to Finland, says the Lord, if you will repent and get right with me.